is coming apart at the seams. A defiant paddleboarder found himself in over his head in hot water when sheriff's deputies surrounded him near Malibu Pier. Ain't breaking no law, ain't selling no drugs. I'm just preaching the word of God. And look at all these police cars here. The sign at Donaldson Park says closed, but in smaller print says in groups of no more than four persons, parks remain open for walking, hiking, biking, running, and similar activities. Matt was just there with his wife and six-year-old. He says it was the officers who were violating social distancing guidelines. During this whole contact, you know, none of the officers had masks on, none of them had gloves on, you know, and they're in my face handcuffing me. They're they're touching me. I certainly don't think it's appropriate for for a father to, to be handcuffed in front of his um, family. All in the name of a new normal which defies our inalienable rights and is plunging the U.S. into a recession. Once the facts are laid bare, couldn't those aggressively pushing for it be committing open treason? It's enough to make Attorney General Barr shudder at the long-term consequences. Generally speaking, there are, there are occasions where liberties have to be uh, restricted during certain emergency such as war uh, or in this case a potentially devastating uh, pandemic but they have to be balanced whatever steps you take have to be balanced against the civil liberties of the American people and it cannot be used as an excuse for broad deprivations of liberty uh, so uh, as things proceed uh, you know we're going to be interested in both what the federal government is imposing uh, and also uh, making sure that that's justified, but also what the states do. Once this is over, will we analyze the globalist Hail Mary pass to take out Trump and American economic success after all of the Russiagate impeachment nonsense? Or will we face a new wave of attacks as the Department of Homeland Security has eerily predicted? Politico reported the Department of Homeland Security has warned the faith-based community that the threat of attacks against houses of worship may be higher once religious services resume due to stressors caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Is this truly a threat or is it a threat against the First Amendment? And now as all 50 states are under a major disaster declaration for the first time in U.S. history, the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis President Neil Kashkari has declared that without an effective vaccine for the coronavirus, the U.S. economy could face 18 months of rolling shutdowns. Whether it's healthcare policymakers, fiscal policymakers, which means Congress or the Federal Reserve, we should all be erring on the side of overreacting to try to avoid the worst economic outcomes. As those in power now increase that power as elections are put on hold. This new normal is merely the new world order in sheep's clothing. John Bound reporting.